you don't have to stop. I want to. I thought you hated me. Of course I don't. I hate Josh. Why? How could he treat you like that? Yeah, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Here. It's a bit late for lucky coins. All the same. I wanted you to have it. You need it more than me. Thanks. <laughs> I've been meaning to come round ever since I heard about your dad. I didn't realise it was this serious. Well, he was going to die anyway. Yeah, but not this soon. At least he'll be at home. How is that a good thing? Isn't it? Him lying there, us all sitting around and waiting for him to snuff it. I might just go and stay at Mum's. I can see why you feel like that. When my dad had cancer, it was scary. I wanted to do something to make him all right, but you can't, can you? Yeah, but David's OK now, though. Yeah, but if he hadn't have been, I'd have wanted to say goodbye. That's it, though. I don't want to have to say goodbye. I thought you were at school. You said I didn't have to go. Maybe I'll see you tonight. Um, oh, I don't know about that. We've got to get the place ready for Ashley. You know where to find me. I'm really sorry. So he's definitely coming home. Where else would he go? Right, let's get this place sorted. Full scale, polish and clean. I'm on it. Good to hear. You OK? Yeah. We're all in it together now, aren't we? Just tell me what needs doing. Well, um, You can vacuum the stairs. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Gabby, I'm proud of you. We all are. Your dad included. Where's Arthur? Benice took him off. It was all getting a bit much. You all right? Yeah. The important thing is, he's where he belongs. Yes. With his family round him. Home, son. Home. 